Good Friday afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's June 21st, 2019. Welcome into an edition of Talking Fitchburg. Uh, we uh, have a very, very special show for you, as you uh, as you heard. We've got our biggest fan in studio today, and uh, he was helping me out there with the intro. Uh, but uh, welcome into Talking Fitchburg uh, on this Friday afternoon. Hope you're having a wonderful day out there. Uh, I know I am in here as uh, my dream has come true. There's a fan. There's a fan. Where's one? Uh, that is uh, <laughs> part one. of the show. There's just one. That's, <laughs> that's better than you none. You got a fan. Andrew Bamlett, how are oh. you doing on this uh, Friday afternoon? I'm doing wonderful yourself, sir. Fantastic. Fantastic. Good. You're looking good on that farmer's market yesterday. Yeah, that was a it pretty was, fun day good. out there. Yeah. yeah, we had a good day uh, at Strawberry Fest. and. Yep. Uh, if you didn't uh, uh, partake in it, don't worry. We're going to go back mm-hmm. there. And, uh, oh, yeah. We'll, That's we'll first. Be back. We'll uh, be there. Uh, what was surprising is there was, I think, and I don't know, do they call them bushels or for, as far as strawberries goes, like the, the packages of strawberries? The best, yeah. Yeah. A bundle, okay. a bushel, something like they that. They had 400. That's what Steve approximately guessed was about yeah. 400. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, they were able to get rid of all of those, like, before nice. five. Wow. That's, Good. That is my estimate, yeah. Lots of strawberries. And they sold out of the ice cream, the yeah. Culver's ice cream, just up by Lions. Sure. I'm sure. I had more people asking me, like, Where's the do ice you know cream? where the ice cream's at? Where's the like, ice cream? And I had to be the one to let them down. Like, <laughs> Well, it's gone. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's gone. It's It happened, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was a it was a fun day out there, and the weather was just gorgeous. So I'm thinking now it's, it's a pretty good time that, uh, that, that summer's here to stay mm-hmm. now. I think that's Definitely. that's. I I am never strawberries and ice cream. It's all you need for summer, right? Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Well, we have a very uh, busy show for you here today. Uh, We'll get you updated on your headlines, of course, uh, including uh, uh, looking back at the Strawberry Fest uh, yesterday. Uh, We've got a uh, a, uh, it's a Verona Road uh, construction update uh, for you. Uh, we'll uh, update you uh, from last night's meeting that was held uh, over at the field office. And then uh, we have a police update. Yeah, uh, Chad, uh, or Chief of Police, Chad Brecklin, stopping by on the show. Uh, Andrew sitting down with him earlier. We'll get an update uh, what's happening at the police department. But first, we do turn to your headlines, and we're starting with that Strawberry Fest 2019 held yesterday at the Fitchburg Farmers Market. Had a chance to sit down and talk with Steve Leverance, the uh, organizer from uh, Fitchburg Center. Good Thursday afternoon, everybody. We're live here out at the Fitchburg Farmers Market at Strawberry Fest 2019, and it's a beautiful day because Steve's with me today here at the market. We're going to be at the market here till 5:30 today. At the top and bottom of the hour, we'll do our PM Fitchburg live, get you your headlines, and bring on some special guests as well. And Steve Leverance is uh, a very special guest to me uh, as he's been on our show many times. And uh, Steve, uh, talk about what is Strawberry Fest uh, here at the market. So on the third Thursday of every month, we try and have a festival during the summer, and today is Strawberry Fest. And so uh, obviously strawberries are the theme for today, and we have the Lions Club uh, selling Culver's frozen uh, custard so you can get strawberry sundaes here you can we have the uh, rolling pin here with cookies and we have strawberry jams we have strawberry lemonade we have all sorts of well there we go well yeah <laughs> I mean <laughs> what can we say oh, that, that, that just arrives and uh, that was a familiar face there from a Fitchburg chamber you're not gonna take those with you Angela right to them to keep going through the day. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know that Angela was the uh, scapegoat for, uh, for that. Um, what are uh, some of the regular vendors uh, that we have out here today? So today we have, um, we have the Rolling Pin Bakery. We have Aggie and Bob, Farmer Bob. Uh, they, he's, they're here with some strawberries, and, or not strawberries, raspberries and asparagus. And uh, we have Lu- Ken and Luana Parr from uh, Monroe, we have, I'm just kind of going around the, the space. He's here. looking around oh, here. Have, he knows what he's doing. We have two organic vendors. We have um, the Lasers, and they also have a CSA. And then we have Kyle Tom, who comes in from Edgerton, and he has all organic produce and um, just some beautiful stuff there. So we have uh, Natalie. It's Garden and Greenhouse is just over my other shoulder. And uh, she has just a beautiful selection of um bedding plants, perennials, hanging baskets. Uh, She does have strawberries today. She also has produce. So um, lots of things to get. We also have two beef or two meat vendors. One uh, specializes in beef. And then we have another who specializes in lamb and chicken. And she also has some fiber and she sells eggs. And um, she has some sheep skins that she's also selling. So 
We've got a little bit of something for everybody, I think, here today, and we're off to a amazing start. I, I don't just open and <laughs> I was gonna say this started at three o'clock and I'm not kidding you that there there are people here at 2 30 uh, already lining up. Uh, Steve is it safe to say if you don't get down here early enough today that the strawberries may be uh, oh. slim picking? So I would say that it yeah the strawberries are going rather quickly they will not last the duration of the market. We did our best to have a great selection for you today but the weather played a little bit of a factor and then we have one of vendor who is has an illness and so just can't get into her her fields to pick more strawberries. So we have a lot, but they're gonna go fast based on the crowd that I see behind <laughs> me. But we still have lots of other things. So we still, we're gonna have strawberry sundaes and we have the cookies and we have the jams and we have lots of other things. So even for out of strawberries, there's still plenty of other stuff. Oh, absolutely, come on down. Entertainment's gonna be starting uh, as well here pretty quick. Steve, thank you so much for the time. Appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, a good market here. Thanks this is great. Support. Come yeah. on down. Yeah, the strawberries, I said, went very fast. Uh, over 400, uh, I don't know, again, bushels, however you, uh, however you determine it there, uh, were gone. And that ice cream uh, also uh, going uh, really fast. But just gorgeous day out there uh, for a farmer's market. All right, we also uh, had this. If you ever curious about the setup and uh, what goes into the market, again, they were saying it was one of the busiest, busiest strawberry fests uh, that they've had uh, maybe ever, Andrew. And that's just because of uh, great awesome. weather, right? Yeah. But yeah, look how many people showed up for that. That's just pretty... This is really neat. Of the quick setup and people. Just if you watch closely, up. you see me uh, with the camera come through. Running but around. you gotta, yeah, you had to look really closely to see, uh, yeah. see that. But awesome. either way, don't worry. There's uh, other uh, special events happening uh, at the market uh, during the summer, and we'll get you that info uh, as it gets closer. All right, transitioning to other news. It just opened up. The uh, used book sale at the Fitchburg Public Library just started at noon today. It goes till 5 p.m. over at the Fitchburg Public Library, second floor. And on Saturday, June 22nd, that's tomorrow, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., you got the bag sale from 2 to 4 p.m. Get a bag full of books for just 5 bucks. Yeah, that's right. And also great prices on children's paperback books, just 50 cents. Paperback and children's hardcover books, just a buck. And Andrew's favorite, hardcover and large paperbacks, just $2. And, yeah, it was hard to pull Andrew away from this event. Uh, you know, he was over there uh, had his tent out there uh, last night. Uh, I asked him to leave. He had to come back here. It was a whole thing. Andrew, do you have uh, any way we of defending? We don't talk about that. <laughs> yeah, you can't defend yourself at all. All right, uh, coming up uh, tomorrow as well, uh, we have Coffee with a Cop. That's right, Coffee with a Cop uh, is tomorrow at the Caribou Coffee and Nine Sign Bagels. That's located at 2839 Fish Hatchery Road in Fitchburg. No agendas, no speeches. Ask questions, share your concerns, and get to know your officers. That's right. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, again, hopefully uh, you can make it out there and talk with your officers uh, and uh, have a cup of coffee on them. It's going to be a good time. All right, happening at the Dane County uh, Regional Airport this weekend, it's MSN 80, the celebration of commercial flight. 80 years uh, in commercial flight at the Dane County Regional Airport. They have live music, family-friendly activities, local food and beverages, airport and terminal tours, and aircraft displays, and a job fair at that. And I've mentioned this repeatedly. I'm probably never coming back after I go to this event on uh, Sunday. So get uh, get to know Andrew because he's going to be the uh, person who carries the show on from here on out. So call it my last day on the show. What do you say? No. <laughs> Denied. Denied. <laughs> Denied. Uh, Andrew, we got time for one more here. All right, Dane County to purchase land to increase public shore access and provide opportunities to better manage water flow in the Ahara River. Dane County Executive Joe Parisi announced that the county will acquire two waterfront properties next to the Babcock County Park on the eastern shore of Lake Wabisa. The additional land will increase Dane County's amount of uh, uh, more shoreline, we'll say here, about 650 feet of it. And it'll offer space for uh, park upgrades and provide opportunities to better manage the water flow through the Ahara River. And, uh, yeah, we need uh, we need that flow uh, to move right along. The purchase price uh, for the two parcels in the town of Dunn is $1.6 million. The resolution to purchase the two waterfront properties next to Babcock County Park will be introduced at uh, the board meeting that was held on Thursday, last night. 
All right, that does it for our headlines. Coming up next, we open up the digest, and we're talking about the Verona Road construction project as they held their open house last night. We'll get an update from Steve Tyson next right here on Talking Fitchburg.